This is the swelling after about 15, 20 minutes. Before even having the opportunity to draw a conclusion to the Palestis Carolina sting, something else happened. I spotted something moving across the ground. A solitary wasp species. One that is known for a lifestyle and feeding on arachnids. Right, we got Introducing Florida's spider wasp. Wasp, with over 30,000 known species, no one can test every wasp sting intensity. This would mean getting stung a dozen times a day for nearly seven years straight, and yet managing to cover the entire globe in an attempt to find every species known. Many of the world's regions are not fully researched, and many wasp species live high in the canopy or are very solitary. Wasps are divided into two main groups, social and solitary. Of all 30,000 species of wasps worldwide, only a thousand of them are social. Palestis carolina, also known as the red paper wasp, a three on the Schmidt pain sting index, this sting had some lasting effects, mostly swelling, itching, and redness. However, itching did persist for around a day after the sting test. The red paper wasp is a social wasp that form colonies that consist of different members with only one founding queen. Every winter, the entire colony dies, leaving a few fertilized queen larvae to survive. Laying dormant in anticipation of early spring when these few founding queens leave the safety of their fallen colony to embark on a very valuable life journey to start a new colony. All wasps are extremely important to the balance of our ecosystems. Nearly every insect pest known to man is preyed upon or implanted with the larva of wasps keeping a hardly understood system of microscopic bacteria, fungi, plants, insects, and animals in balance. Let's offer a thumbs up and acknowledgement to their importance. Now I have to address all the comments. You didn't even show the sting or the stinger going into your arm. You just hold your arm the whole time in the video when you get stung by the velvet. Cow killer. I placed the wasp against my skin for nearly a minute, waiting in anticipation of a sting, and then I received it. Obviously, my camera doesn't have x-ray vision, so for the stinger's insertion, you'll have to use your imagination. I just can't stand to see something so innocent getting a bad rap for me. Whether you believe or disbelieve, it's in favor of the bee. Oops, wrong terminology. Wasp. Making a great video isn't as easy as point and shoot views. I already told you I have no film crew. Sorry for the less than perfect view. If the ant stung me and my reaction was true, a heck of a lot less than you know who, then maybe I could prevent someone who thought they knew killing a velvet ant was the right thing to do. Now your side. If I placed the insect on my forearm for a minute or two, faked a reaction just for views, this would only prove the insect's innocence when judged by you. Obviously that's something you like to do. Because showing the stinger in plain view, forcing the cow killer on my forearm isn't enough for who. I did this for her, not you. Which leads me into comment number two. I mess up calling these she's he's. It's truly confusing. From this point on, I'm abolishing the further use of the term cow killer. What is this wasp, a murderer? Let's refer to it as the velvet ant. It's ant love forever. Ants Canada, yes you. Please subscribe to his channel. He always tells the truth. This leaves 29,000 species of wasps that are considered solitary. These wasps include species like the velvet ant, tarantula hawk, cicada killer to name a few. All right, this is the tarantula hawk challenge. Florida's tarantula hawk. Here we go. Hang on, where are you gonna go? There's already dots. All right, yeah, there's dots. <laughs> I don't have a lot of unmarked skin, but uh, I'll go right here next to the two dots over here. And y'all can see I still have the marks from the one I just hit 20 minutes ago. All right, here we go. This is Posillo pompilus algidus. Ants Canada, I could use a little hand with this. Now, Florida doesn't actually have a true tarantula hawk, but this is a native species of spider wasp, which is in the same family as the tarantula hawk. He hasn't stung me yet. He's biting me. It's starting to burn. There we go. Pretty sure he stung me. Try it again. It's okay. That's a blooper. 
<laughs> All right, let me catch him again. <laughs> I do believe I got stung about five times, but I'm gonna do this again to be sure. All right. Yeah. At least one. I don't see a, a serious sting insert site, so I'm gonna go for it again, y'all. Jeez. All right, here we go. Same area, right here. Here we go. Now you see the stinger. Mm-hmm. Yep, he's in my skin. You see that? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I feel it. That stinger is rem reminiscent of the cow killer, how big it is. There it goes. Oh yeah, so he stung me probably right. 10 times. Stinging you right now. Yep. There we go. All right, I think I got enough stings at this point to determine that right, go ahead and mark it me. is painful. It's more painful than the Palestis Carolina. I don't know where to mark. He stung me so many times. This was probably the original sting set right here. Probably more, huh? but this whole area, he pretty much stung me in all this area. Mm -hmm. So y'all can see on that end. Your other this is my sting from earlier. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support. It means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.